I am being so for real right now. How do I start this video? Um, I think I hate myself probably because um, there's about 160 BB comics and I will be ranking all 160 BB comics. We're going to have some fun. Um, I was joking at the beginning. Please don't take this seriously at all. There's no rhyme reason or anything to what I'm about to do. I just thought this would be pretty fun. Uh, we just had BB Comics Week, at least at the time of making this, a few days ago. So, you know. Woo! So, I'm gonna go through each BB Comics season by season. I'm gonna rank those 16 or 17 or 15 comics. They're pretty weird sometimes, but you know. I'm gonna rank them by season, and then I'll go to the next season, rank them by season. And then eventually we're going to get a full list of these guys. So, you know, that's that's that. I guess I also have to, like, talk about my uh, my wonderful tears here um, that I spent 15 seconds on. Um, the bottom tier, I will never be the same. Um, this is saved for the select few that I think are so absolutely god-awful. Um, they hurt my eyes. I think I need a new pair of glasses on top of the pair of glasses I already have because of these. So I'll never be the same. We got Boo. It's pretty. It's Boo. You know. Congrats on the bare minimum. This is like this is like the average tier. This is like it's not terrible, but it's not good by any means. Actually, that that's C tier. C tier. If you're in C tier. I just count that as pretty bad. It's, it's pretty bad. All right, we got Wowza. Not terrible. Again, pretty self-explanatory. It's not terrible, so you're going to be tier. A slight chuckle. These are for the ones that are like, oh, wow. They actually put some effort to it. It's not like the best of the best. Like, you could have done a little better, but like, this is good. Like, solid. And then you did your job, big brother. All you have to do is make 16 decent comic books based on your cast every year. And they really suck at their job. <laughs> but for the select few that get this top, top tier, I think they actually did good. I wouldn't change anything. I know it's shocking. It's bananas. Yeah, this this is, this is going to be a terrible video. <laughs> All right, let's jump in with BB16. I got to I gotta find where I'm going. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from the bottom tiers that we have. So the lowest of the low. And then we're going to work our way to the best from each season and just see where they place based on my list, you know? So for BB-16, for being the first BB comics, I actually don't have anything in F tier. Nice. Good job. However, we got a couple that um, unfortunately are going to land in our boo tier. We're going to start with a super soccer mom. Yeah, it's pretty basic, pretty boring. I don't really like anything about it. <laughs> We need to talk about the Flamingo, because the Flamingo, the Flamingo's pretty tragic, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not that good. Also, Pow Pow, Pow Pow, really, you, you could do so much better than Pow Pow. The Crustacean is like, it's weird, I don't like the way it looks, I don't like it, so it's going in D tier, or Boo tier, sorry. And, of course, the Fashionista. Congrats, Victoria. You like shopping, so you get a shopping-themed comic book. All right, on to the bare minimum tier. Woo! Wow, this is so cool. Anyways, Dadbot. Derek, how how is one of the most boring winners in the history of the show have, like, one of the most boring comics in the history of the show? Dadbot. Womp womp. Mr. Personality. I really wanted to put this higher for Devin, but, like, it's Devin, so, like, there's so much potential there. And, like, it's fine, but, you know. Zack Attack. It's literally just Zack. You're not fooling me. That is Zack. Come on now. The Decaffeinator is, um... Again, it's fine. The C tier, like, whatever. I'm sorry. The bare minimum tier. Like, I don't have a lot to say about a lot of these. And then the Holy Roller. Love me some Jocasta, but you know, this one. They have, like, that stupid, like, 
you guys know like the background font they would make in like YouTube videos was like how to make a YouTube thumbnail. That is what the background of Jocasta's is. You're not fooling me. Into the wowza, not terrible tier. We're gonna do the beard. I just think Donnie looks cool as hell here and like the beard. His beard is a thing. It's pretty cool. Beast Mode Cowboy, yes. Caleb. Caleb sucks for sure. But I think like self-branding yourself Beast Mode Cowboy and then your comic being Beast Mode Cowboy, it's it's fine. It's pretty good. The Joey. This might be a hot take because it's just like it's Joey's name in the comic. But I think it's really funny that Joey is just like a kangaroo. <laughs> I don't know why, but it makes me laugh. So I'm, I'm going with it. And then I, I'm, I'm going to be so real with you. I don't know how to say this one. Femme Fatal. Fatal. Femme Fatal. Femme Fatal. It's one of the two for sure. I don't know. I really like the way it looks. That's why it's up here. All right. We got two of them left. One's going to be in the slight chuckle. And one of them is in the you did your job. And the one in the slight chuckle is going to the Efroninator. Sue me. But like one, it's a lot better than the Decaffeinator. And I just think it's really funny how he's just like protecting Zac Efron's like dressing room. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, yep. You guys saw it. October 5th. I don't know. It's just really iconic to me. It's a really memorable like picture drawing thing. And, like, Nicole, she'll be known for, like, her costumes and all of her comics when we get to them. Um, but this one is by far the best to me. I think it's really funny. I think the name is good. All around, good job. Solid. Good job, BB-16. You didn't completely suck, because, trust me, a lot of these are going to look worse than this. On to BB-17. Unfortunately, we have a couple of these that are uh, down at the down at the bottom there. Starting with Austin the Barbarian. Looking at this makes me hate myself a lot. And I don't think anyone else should be regulated to watching this at all. So, you know, that really sucks. Your comic is about you smelling really terribly. Nice. And then we got uh, we got The Salesman by Jeff. One of the most forgettable house guests in Big Brother history. Has a terrible, terrible BB comic. And then The Engineer. I think the name is like absolutely atrocious. The Engineer. And then to add on to it, it's just like a weird looking comic. And it's not creative at all. D2, you are not safe by any means because Mr. Perfection. Yeah, we get it. Fucking Clay's hot. Don't care. The Bro. You're lucky The Bro didn't get an F tier for that terrible name i just think because it was actually like used on the show sure it's not it's not the worst thing i've ever seen and then the stupid twins they gotta stick together one because it makes like a cute picture together like together they could be up there but like what was their what's their name south beach savior and the bikini bandit ew and then the puma like yeah she's an older woman and she's attracted and, like, in a showmance with, like, a younger guy. We get it. Move on. The middle tier. You did the bare minimum. Mama Day. Move. No, God, there it is. All right. Davon, like, okay, in this first season, I'll give him a pass because Davon was only there for two weeks. But Davon is so iconic and there's so much you can do with her that I feel like you gotta capitalize on but for this one it's fine we don't know her that well yet captain camo i think it looks really cool i think the name is boring i think the fact that it's james and he likes camo sure but i think it looks cool and that's the only reason it's here super showgirl again pretty boring pretty lazy writing a lot of the ones that are like kind of like lazy um are gonna go in this middle tier here um this is no exception She's a showgirl, super showgirl. Okay, Jackie. And then Dr. Drill. I think Johnny Mac has so much potential here. Like, I would not have been mad if you did the Wax Street Boys at all. Because I think that was a really funny bit that they did on the show. But like, Dr. Drill. Nah. 
Hey, wowza, you're not terrible. Vanessa, the mad hatter. I like the use of the different hats that she wears all the time. I like the name. It's pretty much it. And then the Melanator. I said that so, so terribly. Melaninator? Mel Mel Melan... Melan... I... I'm giving up. Whatever. I think it's cool. I think it's funny. Represents Jason well. Jesus, let's move. Look at that. A tier is going to add three more to this one. Despite having some god-awful ones, they didn't completely mess it up. I think the blanket is hilarious. I think that is so good. That is the perfect thing you could have done. Just the blanket for Audrey. Yes. Give me that all day of the week. I, you're lucky you're not S tier. Trainiac. Trainiac is funny. She got hit in the face. Her little comment on the underneath is really funny. I, I, I think it's so good. I think Becky, they did right with Becky. And then the Big Apple. She's from New York. It's funny. I'm sorry. I'm a sucker for that one. I just am. Let me let me live, okay? That'll give us BB-17, and now on to BB-18. BB-18 has one that is so bad. Dr. Groom? Dr. Groom. You're serious. It's Glenn. That is just Glenn. That is literally just Glenn. He's in some jeans with some dogs. That is the most lazy thing. That... I'm going to talk about my favorite and least favorite ones. That might just be my least favorite because that is so diabolical to do Glenn that dirty. And then into D tier, I think Colonel Camo is the biggest, like, obviously, like, Captain Camo is, like, fine and it's in C tier. I think Colonel Camo is super lazy. I think it looks kind of ugly. So it has to, it cannot be on the same tier at all. But it's not, like, the worst. All right, where is this man Polly at? Apocalypse? Apocalypse. Okay, Polly. All right, buddy. Whatever. And the hottie. This is one of the most lazy things they've done. Zakia is a very attractive woman. That is not all that she is, okay? You could have done more than just, hey, she's hot. Whatever. Okay. The middle tier. The mathematician. The the mathematician. There we go. We did it. All right. The mathematician. Bronte. Numbers gal. I think that moment is really funny. I think BB-18 has a lot of moments like that, but that one is hilarious. So I'm glad they made a comic out of that, but it's kind of boring. Destruction. Again, it's Davon. This is our second time out. You could have done so much and you're about the same thing that you did with Mama Day. Princess Pep. Again, kind of boring. It's Natalie, and she's, like, the pretty girl. Elfitvik. Again, it's kind of lazy. I think it's fine. But again, it's kind of lazy. And super safety girl. Where, where is she? There she is. Come on! You could have done so much better. Look at the, the downgrade from Oktoberfest to super safety girl. It's not lost on me. It looks pretty bad. And I just think it's kind of boring, too, so... Into B tier, the killer cabbage, because she's like a cabbage patch kid. I didn't sound very enthusiastic, but it's fine. It's good. Better than most of these. I'm not going to lie to you. Yudi's booty. I'm sorry. This just like, Frank sucks. But like, they made a comic about him having a big butt. And that's got to, you got you to gotta get some points somewhere, okay? And the motor mouth. I think it looks cool. I think it's accurate that he's very loud. I think it's good. It had the chance, honestly, to move up some. But for, for now, I'll, it's fine here. And we're not done yet because there are some good ones in BB-18. They did their thing. The mistletoe? The mistletoe. I think that's hilarious. I think that is so stupid it works perfectly. So good job on the mistletoe because <laughs> it's like a missile coming out of his toe. You see. And the Emotional Wrecking Ball, yes. Yes, I think it's a great name. I think it's perfect. It's Vanessa's sister. I think it's good. I like it a lot. But we got two amazing ones at the top of the list here. Two iconic ones, Big Meech. It's, me it's Big Meech, and she's like really big, and she's crying, and she's like a baby. That's so funny. I love it so much. <laughs> 
And honestly, this again, like Glenn is in the contention for the worst. Jose is in the contention for the best. The hot messiah. Oh, there. They were in their bag for that one. They were they were they were doing all kinds of moves on that one. That was that's a that's a winner right there. Big Brother 19 doesn't have anything in the bottom tier. Let's go. But they have a lot in the boo tier. Let's let's start it out. The Silver Fox, it's Matt. You suck. And I really don't like the way he's looking at me. Or he's not even looking at me. But I don't like the way he looks, okay? The Timeshare Tyrants. I mean, obviously, like, Jillian brought, like, nothing to the show. But, like... What? The Cosplayer. Ramsey does cosplay. Yeah. Whistlenut, I think it's just kind of lazy. I think there's like, I think Whistlenut is fine, but like, I don't like the way the comic looks. So like the fine turns into like, eh, and so like, eh, is like with the blue tier, you know? The Merman, it's Kevin. There's so much for Kevin. And you pick like the Vito outfit he wore week one and called him Merman. Dude. And the Potty Mouth. It looks really ugly. And like, like I think I think it's funny that both of them have to do with like his like mouth and his like foul mouth. I don't know. I just don't really like it. And look at that. We're already filling up this. This is gonna be. So, I don't even think I'm gonna fit this on the screen by the end. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Into C tier, the Dominator, Dominique. Just a play on her name. Sure. Helena. <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of laughed at it. That's the only reason it's up here. <laughs> the Staircrow. It's pretty accurate. And Cody sucks. Boo. But, you know, the comic's fine. The comic's fine. And Wiener Woman. Again. Sure, I guess. I don't know. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? On to B tier, though, because we still have a couple of these to talk about. B tier, the super fan with Cameron. I like, I, I don't know. Some of the play on words are like, really? But like this one, like super fan. And he has like fans. All right, call me a sucker, but it's good, okay? The meatball. Again, this is like with the big apple or like big meat. The meatball, he's just, he's just a meatball. <laughs> I like it, okay. And the hex symbol. I think this one is just like, I think it looks the coolest. Um, And the hex symbol, it's a cool name. And it's like, yeah, and it like has to do with like the halting hex. And yeah, sure. Into A tier, we have one in A tier. Two will be going to S tier. And the A tier is the Incredible Sulk. This might be absolutely carried by like Matt when he was like, you're the Incredible Sulk, you're the Incredible Sulk. I thought, you know, it's funny. And I like that he, it's like the Incredible Hulk and he's like this Jack dude and he's like an emotional dude and it's like, it's funny, okay? And the S tier's got some good ones. The Ark Assassin. The Ark Assassin. It's so stupid. I love it. I adore it with my whole heart. The Ark Assassin. And she's like, what is that? Is she like Batman? No, she can't be Batman. I don't know what she is, but she's something. And... Oh, oh, this is this is gonna contend with Jose for the best ever. But like, fa la la lunatic, the fa la la lunatic. <laughs> How is that? Is incredibly. I would be so pissed if I was Christmas. But that is so good. There's so much potential when your name is Christmas. And the fa la la lunatic is almost like the best thing you could have possibly done. BB20, uh, this one, this, uh, this one was all right, had some good ones, um, but there is one F tier though, or I'll never be the same, why do I name it that, should have just done letters, anyways, the welder, oh no, it's the welder, or no, wait, they're a superhero or something, oh my gosh, the welder, no, I see, it doesn't, it doesn't work, boo, into boo it's got some of them mr mr band 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 wench band wrench band wrench steve summer of steve baby kind of sucked and twinston yeah i don't really care about either of them so woo okay anyways c tier we got a couple here we got a couple here the rathley angela it's fine it's fine it's fine 
No, it's not. It's not that good. <laughs> oh no, we're moving. Oh gosh, we gotta move it. We gotta move it. The beefcake. I feel like for Brett, there's like a lot of them to do, but like beefcake is like funny play on words, so that's why it's not at the bottom. But like you could have done a lot better. The Amazonian. It's like fessy. Could have done something. No, because well, because they did they did BB Comics pretty early on in the season, so I think for it being that early, Amazonian's fine. The Addis. I have nothing to say about JC. The health nut, it's because she was in a nut costume. So, you know, and she's like fit. So, yeah. And the Dantasaur. I think this one looks cool. I think it's a terrible name, but it looks cool at least. So, you know, you got to give them points for something. Hey, we're going to be we're going to be filling up this Wowza tier because they got a couple. The Queen Bay. It made me laugh because it's like the Queen Bee, but it's Bay. I get it. <laughs> the slamlet slam it sl sl what is it called? slam slamlet slamlet like hamlet i think it's funny good good job rock jar rock jar rock czar rock czar rock czar that's it that's it rock czar it's a cool looking thing and i think it's funny the name fucks me up but it's good I think snotty like a lot of the like literally like four in a row and like ironically they're all like Faute members they all made me laugh. If you get me to laugh, you're going to get me to like your comic, okay? And then like Swaggy C, but it's like the C, like S-E-A. I'm sorry, okay? I'm a sucker for it. Good pun will get me. And the Life Guardian, just because I think it looks nice. And that'll leave us with one that goes in A tier, and it's the Spirit Guide. Because I think it's one of the coolest looking comics out of all of them. And I think it fits Caitlyn perfectly. So yeah, that's BB20. BB21 has got some downright despicable ones, and we'll get them over with. Dr. Jackson and Mickey Hyde. Oh, oh, you done messed up. It looks ugly. Ugly with his Leo head ass. And then Elastnik. Elastnik. Why is he looking at me like that? Disgusting. Disgusting. And then, like, D tier, boo, that doesn't have anything that good. Uh, freeze frame. He's a photographer. Woo. All right, this one I just don't get, so, like, don't yell at me, but Pinot, Pinot Noir, Pino, 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 no, 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 Noir, no ear. I don't get it, okay? It, sure, if, if you guys understand that one, please let me know, but it's gonna be in boo tier because I don't get it. And then the Keminator is just pretty lazy. And like, it has nothing to do with it except for the fact that her name's Kemi. And Big Rig. Screw you, Sam. C tier. The bare minimum did a couple of things. Foul play because Annalise wore a chicken costume. Cool. The Groundhog because it's Cliff Hog. It's scaring me though. I don't like the way it looks. But it's something. Liberty Bella, this was probably like one of the most confusing ones to me. Because like on one hand, it has nothing to do with anything and it should be like in the bottom tier. But on the other hand, I think it's so stupid, it's really funny. So like it could, it could, it could skyrocket. But I couldn't decide which one I felt, so I put it smack dab in the middle. And then we got N N N Nicolossus, 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 Nicolossus. Why does that sound wrong? Either way, it's fine. And Captain Cookie. Why, why, see, maybe I just haven't rewatched BB-21, but why Captain Cookie? Was Obi known for his cookies? Maybe he was known for his cookies. Oh, well, anyways. B-tier, B-tier has some funny ones. The Destiny, Destiny. Destiny, like Destiny, but like with her knee. <laughs> Why is that hilarious? Why is that so good? I'll never understand it, but it's really good. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move these down for a minute. The jackass. The jackass. It's Jack, and he sucks. The jackass, yes. 
Model Mayhem. I think Jessica just looks like a girl boss in this. She, I fucking, I love the way this one looks. And it like skyrocketed just because of that. And Conspiro, like conspiring bitches or whatever the fuck Kat said. It's good. Like it. Nice. Good job. You did it. Merry Christmas. However, there is one that will go up in the slight chuckle tier. And I think it's the Flash Mobster. T Tommy's comic is pretty damn good. It's the best of all of these by far. Like, I like how they're doing the electric slide. And he's just like, he's shaped like a mobster. And shaped, dressed like a mobster. I don't know why, but I really, I really like it. I think it's funny. It was kind of close to being in the top tier. BB-22 was the definition of mid. In the comics, it's worse than mid when you talk about the actual season. Nothing in nothing in the bottom tier, that's fine. But, uh, D tier. David and Goliath. What? They just needed to use his name. David is so boring that this man was on his second season and they still couldn't do anything with him. The Meow Meow, I think, like, we were destined to get the Meow Meow as, like, Enzo's comic. But I didn't want it to be, and I think it looks really weird, too. I think I don't like the way it looks. Memphis, again, that's, like, lazy. It's boring. It's stupid. And the serial killer. This is Nicole's worst BB comic, and it's not even close. Again, I had to use the costume. Serial killer. That has nothing to do with Nicole except for the fact that she's shaped like a box of cereal. God damn it. And the mid-tier. We got a lot. Bailey's comment, it's just her name. Cool. The Cali Fury. You almost made me laugh. If you made me laugh, it would have been here, but you didn't make me laugh, so you're here. Dirk Space Jammer. Again, a lot of these costume ones are going to go in the middle tier just because they're not creative, but like, if you got a costume on Big Brother, more than likely your BB comic is going to be based on that costume, so. King Kaser could have been better. Pretty lazy. Whatever. The birthday girl. Again, like, I think basing it off Keisha's birthday is good, but I think this is, like, the worst they could have done basing it off Keisha's birthday. Band Animal. I literally, I didn't know this was Kevin for a long time. I was, like, staring at this one. I was like, who the hell is the Band Animal? And it was Kevin. It's fine. I think the comic looks cool. That's about it. And Abra Curl Dabra. Man, Tyler sucks. We got a couple that made it into the Wowza tier. One of those is Mrs. Claus. Again, this is no Fala La Lunatic. I don't think you could ever be Fala La Lunatic, but like Mrs. Claus, but it's like Claus. I think it's pretty good. I think it's solid for a Christmas pun. A Dream. This, this is the best. This is the best of those like Devon comics. Devon has so much potential. And like, this isn't exactly like playing on any of Day's, like, iconic moments or whatever. But I like the Daydream pun. I think it's good. So it's not, it's not mid. It's, it's just above it. The Regulator. I, the only reason this is up here is because I am shocked Big Brother even remembers the Regulators. So good for Danny getting Lawan on a BB comic. Getting Keith on a BB comic. Getting Cassie and Dom. I, th I think that deserves B tier for somehow getting these people back on Big Brother. And the Podmaster. This one is one of the best looking ones. I really just love the aesthetic. I love the colors. I love the vibe of it. And it's like a podcast themed thing. I think it's pretty cool. It's not like creative or anything, but it's cool. And only one of these is going to go up into the slight chuckle tier. It's the bombshell. Miss Janelle. She did it again. Oopsies. Good job. Oh, I think I'm losing my mind, but uh, let's get to BB23. There's one that is terrible, and that is Cowabunga. I'm a sucker for puns, but I'm not a sucker for that pun, okay? Cowabunga. Did you really have nothing on Travis, except for that he's a surfer? Boo. Shame on you, big brother. D-Tier's got a couple of them. The Fright Attendant, Brett... Brent? Brett? What the fuck was his name? Brent. It was Brent. It just kind of scares me. I don't like the way it looks. No, no, no. And then the... Denialator? I, th I remember Brittany, like, loved her comic, but, like, I don't really love her comic. Oceana, Hannah? Dude, it's... 
How are you that lazy? It has nothing to do with Hannah. Nothing to do with Hannah. Shame on you. And Explorer almost got some points for being so stupid it was funny. But I don't like the way the comic looks. So it can't it can't rank that high. To the middle tier, we're about to add a third row. God damn. The bikini genie is fine. Alyssa Alyssa did her thing, I guess. Flip the night. Flip the night's kind of funny. It's the only reason it doesn't completely suck. <laughs> Lord of the Latrine again. It's a costume. Costume's gonna go where a costume goes. Mister French. Sure. You know what? I expected a lot worse for Frenchie, so good on Frenchie for not completely disappointing me with not a completely terrible comic. The Kylander. Kind of lazy, but it's fine. It's cool. It's better than these other ones, at least. So, And Glamour Slammer. I like the way it looks. Whitney, Whitney didn't bring much to the show, but at least, at least it's a good-looking comic. On to Wowza. The Wizard of Azza. I like the pun. The Wizard of Oz, Ozza, yeah, good job. Big Z, Big Z's funny, okay? You're not going to convince me that's not funny because it's funny because like he sleeps a lot. Big Z instead of Big D, it's good, okay? And Sarah Breath. People be hating on Sarah Beth. I think she had a good BB comic, okay? So good job on that one, I guess. And now we're left with two in the top tier. We'll get to Tiffy Toes because... <laughs> I think Tiffy, Tiffy Toes? Tiffy Toes is a hilarious name. I think that's really good. I think, I think, mwah, magnificent, uh, if I'm being honest with you. Tiffy Toes? Hell yeah. This might be my most controversial take. Claire Bear is so good. It's so, it's so bad. It's good. She's like a tiny, like, Care Bear, but it's a Claire Bear. <laughs> I, I think it's so good. I think it's so funny. I I think I'm insane. I think I'm losing my mind doing this video. These are 160 comics that mean nothing. And I'm making a video on it. What am I doing? We only have two seasons left and this one might be might be might be the worst. I don't even have to show the other two tiers because spoiler alert, none of them reach the other two tiers. We'll go with the F tier cuz there's a couple of them. Repkyle is a despicable, despicable PV comic. It makes no sense at all to Kyle, and it's really ugly. That's like a bam bam. I think Glenn, you got some competition here because that is a shoo. the short order crook. I don't even know what that means. I don't get what it means, and I don't care what it means. It's terrible. And the pooch. The fuck is that? What the fuck am I looking at? Shame on you, Big Brother, for making that comic and being like, yeah, yeah, that's our best work. No, no, you could have saved our eyes from ever looking at that ever. Oh my God. Boo, we got a couple here. Maulissa, it's really boring. It's really just like, oh my God, she's the pretty girl. She likes shopping, going to the mall. Fuck off. Abira, not this time. The pun didn't get me. Makes no sense. Not connected to Amira. There's like, hmm, Amira, a beer, a beer. -a. <gasps> that was literally their thought process. Congrats. The Brazilian waxer. I don't get it. I don't think it's creative. She's Brazilian. Sure. And rug of war. I think Turner looks really, really weird. Like really weird in that one. I'm not going to lie to you. On to the bare minimum. We got Brit Flea. I like I like the way it looks. I think it's like like I like it. Okay, Old McDaniel. Daniel sucks, but the comic is fine. It's fine. It's not that bad. Shredded. Shredded is pretty lazy. I mean, the fact that they made Joseph into like a tuba in BB twenty five, and like their BB twenty four comic was just like that. He's ripped. That he's literally shredded. Cool. The copycat with Michael. He likes cats. So he's cloning cats. Yeah, it's fine. And DJ Snowtime. I'm glad they didn't do DJ Showtime because they really could have. So, like, they put a little bit. They, like, used their brains a little bit. Like, instead of Showtime, let's do Snowtime. I mean, this department, looking at this list, looking how everything is in the bottom three tiers. <laughs> 
they don't use their brains that much. So you got to give them credit where it's due, okay? And into the Wowza tier. It's going to be Sporan... Sp Whoa, Sprainiac. Sorry. Oh, my Lord. Jasmine. I like that it's her crutch. I like that it's the muffins. I think it's good. The Count of Monte Twisto. All right. I get it. I get where you're going with here. And I think, like, on paper, it's terrible. But I like the comic. It's one of my favorite looking comics because it has, like, so many, like, things from the past, like, past twists and stuff. And it has Eric Stein on it. So it can't be. It has to. It's good, okay? Like, I like the way it looks. They put their heart and soul into that one as opposed to some of these other ones. And Poe Taylor Chip. Miss Taylor Hale. You can't be up high, high, but I like the idea of using the Lay's chips. It got her a sponsorship in the end, and it's good. Good job, Taylor. And we've made it. We've made it to BB25, and there's some pretty bad ones here. Let's 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 wrap this up. Nightmarica makes no sense. It has nothing to do with America. Why? What? Why? Her name is literally America, and you couldn't come up with anything creative? That's terrible. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Same thing with Albacore. Come on. Corey was giving this season. And he's Albacore? Albacore. That's terrible. And Kayak Attack. Kayak Attack by itself, if you like look at it as a comic, is fine. Like in theory, because it's a punishment, it should be in the bare minimum. But the fact that it's Felicia. Felicia who has given you so many iconic amazing soundbite moments and you stupid people in production you stupid writers in production decided to name her kayak attack instead of anything else anything else she's been giving this season we were robbed of a great felicia comic and i'm so sad d tiers some of these kind of suck kirsten kirsten it's just like almost her name you are almost an f tier i'm not gonna lie to you Poltergeist? Poltergeist. I get it. He swims. What? Me Calamity. Me Calamity. What's the name? Me? Me Calamity. Me Calamity. Me Calamity. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and Nash Villain. Nash Villain is so stupid, but it's like kind of funny. So it's the only thing that saved it from like the bottom, bottom tier. On to the stuff that's kind of fine. Let's do the Bowie Rang. The Bowie Rang is like really stupid because it's like a boomerang and like she's Australian. But I like that little like little middle Bowie right there with like the pigtails. I like the way it looks. And that is the only reason I moved it up here. Hair Razor. Cameron. Sure. It's not bad. I really wanted to put it at the bottom. But it's not bad. I can't, I can't shame it that much, okay? Dizzy Izzy. It's the most baseline comic you can get. And Cockadoodle Zoom. It's a costume. You know where it goes. We're almost there. We're almost there. Into the not terrible tier is going to be the mother and son duo. Robot with Suri. I think it's funny that they use the robe that she wears like all the time in her confessionals. And muffin hands for Jared. Again, I like that it's Suri who said it. She kind of manifested his comment. And we are down to the final three comics. Finally. Kitty Kitty Purr. It's on Blue's brand. I may hate that Blue says it, but it's on brand. It's a good looking comic. It's it's pretty good. Okay. It's good. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Because of his goddamn laugh. And I like that it uses comic from that one comp that Felicia won. It's good. I think I'm drained at this point. If my energy is down, it's because I'm absolutely drained from ranking 160 comics, okay? Let me live. Thank you. And the Chillbilly. It's on brand with Red. It's not creative, but I think it's a cool looking comic. And like when I first saw all the BB25 comics when they first released, this was the one that caught my eye and the one where I was like, yeah, that's good. That's good. And I think, I think I'm done. I think that's 160 BB comics. Why do I do this? What is wrong with me? Anyways, let's let's point out my favorite and least favorite of all time. On to the least favorite, the absolute worst. It's got to be it's got to be Rep Kyle. I think Rep Kyle is disgraceful. I think it's terrible. 
I think it's funny because it's Kyle and they did Kyle dirty, but I, I, it's so bad. It's so bad. And then to the best. The best is between the hot messiah and Falala lunatic. And I don't think I genu I don't think I can make a decision. It's okay if I had to rank these in the top tier. D- just these are interchangeable, okay? Like don't don't take these rankings to heart. But like something like this is what I'm looking at. I think Claire Bear is extremely underrated. I think it's really funny. I think it's really stupid, but it's great. But one of these two is by far the best thing that they've ever done on this show ever. But as you can see, most of these comments. Most of these comics suck. I regret making this video. I'm going to go hide in a hole somewhere. Um, if you're around at the end of this video and um, you haven't clicked off yet, I think you're absolutely insane that you just watch me for however many minutes. Um, piece together Big Brother comics. This means absolutely nothing at all. This is just like comic book. This is like me like looking at pictures and like ranking them. Why do I do this? I'll... I, do I have to do an outro? What the hell? I'm I'm gonna see you when I, when I see you at the end of Big Brother 25. I'm losing my mind. Bye-bye.